This is my hardcore Iron Man that cannot leave PvP worlds. The account has one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and if you are the one to kill my hardcore Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. Oh no, I'm out, I'm out. Almost died again. Yeah. The goal in today's episode is very simple. Dragon Slayer 2. And th this room in Dragon Slayer is so... What's this? Alright, I guess we got to fight. The quest helper plugin is making this part so easy. Oh my god. That was so easy with the quest helper plugin. Thank you very much, whoever created that. The thing I don't like about this quest, you always lose so much supplies in the inventory slots. So now we're gonna build a rowboat right here. Takes half of our food. Gone. Dude, this guy is so strong. I think I underestimated this fight. I think I need to bank. Oh my god, it even says right in this wiki page. Do not underestimate this fight. And that's exactly what I just did. We completed the puzzle. And we got our first dragon piece from Dragon Slayer 2. Oh, we got a second piece. Dragon key piece number 2. Give me the pizza piece. There we go. Thank you very much. Dragon piece number 3. <coughs> Now we only have one piece left to get and that is Killing Vorkat and I'm a bit scared. To make Killing Vorkat as easy as possible, I will need to imbue this Solve Amulet for a 20% boost. And there we go, I believe that's the fight completed. Give me the Tarn's Diary. Lair of Tarn Razzlor has been completed. <clears throat> so I believe if I use this Tarn's Diary on this, we're gonna enchant it to Solve Amulet E. We're gonna need a total of 320 Soul Wars tokens to imbue our Solve Amulet. And since Soul Wars doesn't work anymore on PvP worlds, we'll have to go to a non-PvP world and turn private off so no one gets angry at me. So, um, if you wanna cancel me for this, that is totally acceptable. We now have 330 points. We can now trade Nomad and imbue our Solve Amulet. Confirm. Beautiful. Solve Amulet EI completed. That thing can one hit me. Very scary. And there we go. The Vorkat boss fight has been completed. We did it. So I assume we're gonna use this dragon key on this big door. But before I go through this door, I need a quick and healthy meal. And I have the perfect meal on the go bar from Control for this occasion. And luckily for all of us, Control is today's video sponsor. Drink Control is a meal replacement company that was created by the gaming industry for the gaming industry to provide a healthier alternative to unhealthy food and snacks that gamers consume on a daily basis. I go to the gym almost every day so Control's meal on the go bars is perfect for me to keep my diet clean. 15 grams of protein and 9 grams of fiber in every single bar. Plus they taste amazing. So one thing that's interesting with these two bars is that the chocolate chip cookie dough has actual cookie dough in it and the magic charms has actual marshmallows in it. I do recommend you guys to try out their sample kits of both their bars and their shakes. And make sure to use code CENGINEER for 10% discount, link in the description down below or at drinkcontrol.com. A little fun fact, Rune Dragons was packed with bots a few years ago, so a lot of players came to PvP worlds to kill Rune Dragons, so we got a lot of PKs over here. Why do I keep falling? I saw a Jimmy video where he took off his boots and he stopped falling, so we're gonna do that. Okay. Alright, Jimmy, thank you. Oh, fuck it. Okay, I believe I've reached the big ship. This is our first checkpoint. Let's kill all the dragons and we can go back. Okay, I'm actually scared of this. I, I did a practice run on my main and I died from that fireball, <laughs> so we're doing this with precaution. New cutscene. Nice. Alright, just Galvik left. I'm actually gonna teleport and then we go for Galvik. A quick boost up with the botanical pie and then we make range potions. We got three now. Rubies, I need you to do well here. We are either getting this kill or I'm dying. Yeah, I got no food. I gotta teleport. 146 HP. And uh, yeah, I. I it's, I don't mind, I'll do it on a high risk, high ping world. That's fine, that's totally fine with me. Thank you! Finally a ruby hit. Took first. Nice, a ruby. There is hope. Just good RNG, nice. Six. 
No way. Fuck. Fuck! Why didn't I move? I didn't move. I didn't move. How did... Oh, I'm so def... I am so depressed. I didn't move. Had I not hopped from high risk world, I probably would have tabbed. Because of the 100 ping. Oh my. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I died to PVM once again. So I'm looking back at the clip of this stone freeze attack and it feels like I clicked away in time but it probably didn't register because I was playing on a higher pinged world, 120 ping currently. What do you guys think? If I was on a lower ping world would I have moved in time, yes or no? Uh, I also look back at the teleport, I did not teleport in time, I was dead no matter the ping. And people are gonna ask me why I didn't practice Galvik before going in. I did practice multiple times on my main account. However, I never got caught by the stone freeze attack on the main, so I didn't know what to do when I got caught on the hardcore. I didn't know it froze me for that long. Hello, it is C Engineer from the future, and I'm not ready to give up this account just yet. I have a 15 build bounty I want to give away to one PK, one winner. So I either continue this series until someone has PK'd me, or I get an infernal cape. We gotta start off by re reclaiming everything. I'm, I don't know how long I will be upset, but I will probably be upset for a while. Okay, one of the hunters says there is a dragon impling at Draenor Telspot, and I'm gonna blindly trust him to not kill me. Oh, he's there. He's right there. He could actually TB me. Oh, he's humble. All right, can we get some dragon bones? We get lucky for once. <laughs> Someone found me. He's got no stats. He's got no stats. <laughs> is it okay if I watch this? It says. The thing is, I want to respond, but I can't because then I'm going to leak that I am an Iron Man. I'm dead. Uh, so I'm just going to get the 90 range and then teleport out. We got 90 range. Beautiful. Yeah, we still have a 15 build bounty, so I'm not gonna give people free chances, but I'm gonna stick around for a bit in like in some occasions. I am ready for Galvik once again. It's looking like this. We switched up the diamond bolts to dragonstone bolts. Hopefully it's a bit stronger. Double spec, nice. That's a lot of rubies so far. Why did I not have this good RNG in my last attempt? I dodged it this time. Why am I so good at dodging it now? Dead? 3 HP? Oh my god, we did it. The attempt after we died. Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, Galvec, sit the fuck down. Sorgot, sit down. Die, 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 die. Okay, I'm supposed to spawn outside of Berto with a huge delay yeah so if like this is a good spot for someone to camp actually if someone camps here after the Galvic fight you know uh, I'd most likely die because I have no supplies you know what I may not be a hard man but I'm actually really happy to complete this quest uh, I mean really really happy thank you Dragon Slayer 2 has been completed that means we can now enter this area yes okay i can't i can't actually buy a cape somewhere there we go mythical cape has been completed cost me 10 kgp look at that beautiful cape teleports me to the mythical guild very very nice all right warcat i am back I mean, look at the supplies, that's 120k in high ox. I didn't know this, it was this fun doing endgame PBM. Yeah, I'm saying that until I, you know, I go dry on something, so... For now, we're happy. Oh, I'm TB'd. Oh no. I actually got a gap. I actually got a gap. Wait. Did I get a gap? Hehe. <laughs> See you later. The question is, is it still out there now? I off it says. Oh no, I typed. He knows I'm an Iron Man now. Wait, I'm still TB. Oh my god, run. Okay, 
He can't kill me though. Well, maybe he can. All right, we're gonna kill Vorket anyway. Oh my, we got it. We got the Vorket's head. 13 KC. Thank you. We are very lucky here at Vorket. Thank you very much. We can now upgrade our Avas accumulator to something new. Very nice. All right, here we go. Ava, Ava's assembler. Very nice upgrade, look at it. Look at the blue backpack, oh, it's so nice. Oh, we get plus two range strength, that's actually really good. Upgrade, completed. We're back to Zora. We're gonna smash out this boss real quickly. I just wanna get that blowpipe, maybe even serpentine visage. Wow. Why, wait, why, why? Why did I even teleport? I can easily tank it right here. You know, after this episode, you know what I'm doing? I'm turning player indicator off. Another dragon halberd, 150k high elk, and some manta rays. Dragon medom, okay. <laughs> and twisted metas here. I really need my potatoes. Oh shit. Oh no, he's back. I'm gonna tease the noob. Tease the noob. <laughs> Alright, I, I took him on the long route. Wait, wait. He doesn't have a volley, does he? Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're done. He got his tank test. I teased the noob a little. I actually misclicked the bank. Oh my god, he was waiting there. And he splashed! Uh, he's probably not still there, right? So, we're going in. <laughs> he splashed again! 70 kill count, no items to show for. 820k, my entire cash deck goes into the kingdom. We want raw fish as well. I don't care. I'm going for the Zora. I don't care if I'm TV'd or not. He splashed twice. I'm lucky, mate. Oh. What's that? 75 kill kill. I thought I got something. I actually thought I got something. I didn't get anything. I've decided to unlock Water Bird Island Teleport. This is for Vorkat. I want to kill some more, actually, even though I have the backpack. <laughs> How did I die to work yet? How did I die to PVM twice in a video? <laughs> oh no, this is bad. Thank god we keep playing until a PvP death though. Lost 100k because of that. Oh my god. He splashed again. What? I got 255 runite bolts. I didn't think it was this good doing hollowed And we got a casket. First elite casket. Good luck. 3, 2, 1. Yeah. Like one kill. That's all I get. And then someone's waiting there. Can you stop? Give us the fang and we're done here. Ugh. Dragon bones. And that's 90 kill count. That's all right. Still got nothing. There is the dragon imp. Ooh, a magpie as well. All right, we want dragon bones. Three, two, one. Dragon stone amulets. Huh. 90 magic. All right, kill count 99. We got an item, <laughs> but we got the worst one. Uncat on X, same drop rate as the Tanzanite Fang. Ah. Uh. All right, this might turn into a, a fury one day, but we're gonna need 90 crafting to make a fury amulet. Probably the worst item I could have got out of the four different uniques, but I'll take it. All right, this will be kill count 100 and the final solar kill and the back to back. Uh, we get that dragon zone, but 100 kill count, quite a nice achievement without dying on the hardcore iron, on the iron man. There's a huge level 80 cooking. We can now make sharks without boosts. We got plenty of sharks in my bank. Hard casket, 3, 2, 1. Nothing. Oh, 
Oh wait, they waited all the way there. I'm getting a lot of dragon metals. Poor Cat is the best guy ever. He drops food. I got 120 man rays from 3 kills. Alright, we got a medium casket. Nothing. We got another hard casket, 3, 2, 1. Narda teleports. I'm actually gonna use them. Thank you. <laughs> Double magic seed. Alright, that's cool. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. I killed him. There's a berserker ring on the ground. Easy PK. Easy game. Yeah, I could have died. <laughs> yeah. Finally, we got some Zolar teleports. It's been a long time since I've seen those. Ooh, I could have. I could have potentially died there. I'm not sure. Uh, he got another chance on me. He just specked me. Will that hit? Oh, that. Oh, it got nailed. Nice. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Is the Venom gonna kill me? I got nothing though. I got. The Venom killed me. Are you trolling? It's good that I am just an Iron Man. I can die to PVM and the series goes on. As long as I don't die to PvP, it's fine. It's totally fine. I really want to get just one more unique item, but it's really hard with all the PKers camping Zolra. There we go, 84 farming, and we got a Hespora seed. <laughs> he had full ancestral everything! This guy says, Dragon name south of Alcarid Mine World 560, if you want. I'm gonna blindly trust him. Oh, there is a dragon airplane. He spoke the truth. Dragon bones, yes, it was worth it. We got dragon bones used, and that's six to one prayer. Six to two prayer. I got seven thousand swamp tars from Zolra, and it's giving me so much herblore experience. So now I'm seventy-two herblore, and I can boost up to stamina potions. That is pretty cool. All right, hundred and fifty kill count at Zolra. I'm getting tired of this place, and we get a dragon metal. And that's another Hespori kill. Any buckets? No buckets today. Alright, it is time for me to sell my Graceful and finally buy some Amulet packs for stamina potions. We are making our staminas for the first time ever. How many are we getting yet? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. And there is one quest I want to do right now, which I've been postponing for so, so long. Monkey Madness 1. I think it's really funny that I completed Monkey Madness 1 after Dragon Slayer 2. Not many people do that. And there we go. Monkey Madness has been completed. And after completing Monkey Madness, we can now buy a Dragon Skimitar. Huge, but I'm now fully broke, 5k left on my account. And now that we have completed Monkey Madness, we can finally finish off Recipe for Disaster for the Barrow's Gloves. Alright, don't accidentally eat this and use it on the monkey. 10k agility and 10k cooking experience. Beautiful. I believe this is the kill. Yep, that's the recipe for disaster completed. Cakes, we got a lamp and there's someone there. But this means we have now unlocked Barrow's Gloves. However, I'm too poor, I can't even buy one. I sold some stuff to the store and now I can buy myself a beautiful pair of Barrow's Gloves. Look at that, a nice little upgrade. Very, very nice. And I think that is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. Uh, we are still gonna grind Zora. Like, that's the main point. I want a blowpipe for Inferno. And then I'm almost done. Then I feel like I'm almost done. Despite me dying and losing my hardcore Iron Man status, I still have 15 build GP to give away to a PK, so I'll be taking a lot more risks now. And the biggest change moving forward, player indicator will now permanently be turned off. So that means my reaction time will be much, much slower. And I hope you guys still want to watch me. And to all the PKers out there, now is your last chance to PK me and win yourself 15.584 billion GP. Good luck, gamers.